everyone, and welcome to the library catalog demo for keyword searching. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to pick keywords, create a search phrase, and search that search phrase in the library catalog. First, from our scenario, you will need to pick two keywords. I've highlighted mine, which are sanitation and health. Keywords are those important words that we want our sources to talk about. These are the topics that we are wanting to explore, and if our sources don't cover these, then they aren't useful to us. Search phrase is just a fancy way of saying what we are putting in the search box. Our instructions here say that I have to make a search phrase using both of my keywords and one of the three Boolean operators, which are AND, OR, or NOT. The logical choice here is going to be AND. AND means that I will only get results that have both the words sanitation and health present. If I used OR, I would find anything on sanitation or anything on health not necessarily just places where they're talked about together. So that wouldn't be much help here. Similarly, if I did sanitation not health, I would get everything on sanitation that did not include health, which is one of my keywords. So that's also not logical. In step three, you'll identify which Boolean operator you chose and why you think it's the best choice, but I'm going to skip that for now and concentrate instead on just searching the library catalog. From the library homepage, your library catalog is going to be that Books and More tab. You can put your entire search phrase into the search box, then click the search button. Your number of results will differ depending on which keywords you pick. But one thing we do know from the scenario is that we only want books or ebooks. We don't want a video, for example. So I'm going to use the item type limiter on the left in order to make sure my results are all books or ebooks. From my results, I'm going to pick one that looks interesting to me and also contains both of my keywords. Because we're using very broad keywords, you may find that there are lots of different types of sources in terms of what they focus in on. But this one here, Global Issues in Water, Sanitation, and Health, does contain both of my keywords and it sounds pretty interesting to me. So that's what I'm going to use and I will click on the title in order to get to the items record. As we've done before, we're going to pick out some of the citation information. Do note a couple of things. First, the title is given at the very top, but it's only the things before that backslash. Everything else is just kind of more information. Second, in the author field, it will give you at least one author, but you may notice in the title field or in your book or ebook, such as here when I open the ebook, that there's more than one author listed. So be sure to check and make sure that you have all the authors. For publisher and publication date, we would use the publication information field. We're also looking at the subject terms for this assignment. We talked about them a little bit in our last one. Subject terms are those words that tell us what is this source about? Sometimes they're identical to our keywords. Sanitation here is very uh, is identical. Sometimes they're similar, but a little bit different, usually in some kind of more specific way. For example, public health is a more specific kind of health. Sanitary engineering would be concerned about sanitation, but on an engineering side. Water pollution, disease outbreaks, communicable diseases emerging, I'll tell you a little bit more about what this book covers. I hope that you find this video useful as you complete the assignment, and I'll see you in the next video.